This video is sponsored by my brand new Skillshare class. Cooking like a chef, five fundamental skills for kitchen success. Keep watching to learn about my new class. What's up guys, salut, welcome back to the dry pasta series. So today I wanna work on this bad boy, my smart-ish pasta dryer. I said smart-ish because at the moment this student is average, okay? I wanna, I wanna get him to best in class, okay? We'll work on that. Dry pasta is the unsung hero of the pasta world. We are so used to it that it has become a commodity. People even think fresh pasta is superior to dry pasta. Maron! This stops now. In this series, we're gonna learn everything we can about this fascinating Italian food. We're gonna start cooking dry pasta with respect. I like that. That's respect. And we are even gonna try and make some ourselves. Maron! I know, right? What a program. So in the previous episode, I have tried to turn a commercially available food dehydrator into this. A pasta dryer with a stronger circular ventilation and an advanced monitoring system, which is collecting uh, temperature and humidity so that I can understand what's happening and take actions based on actual data. Otherwise, I could be just, you know, taking action based on the weather, <laughs> the weekend forecast. Now, obviously, I said I tried to turn it into a pasta dryer because I didn't succeed yet. It's not too bad. Oh. gets me every time. Clearly, something was wrong, so I had to reach out and ask for help. Andrea Cavalieri, owner of one of the most respected artisanal pasta brands in the world, pointed out that my problem was coming not from the active moments, but from the resting moments, the calm periods. During the rest, everything must be off. You see, drying pasta is a succession of active periods with heated ventilation and resting periods where everything has to be off. Welcome to the inside of my machine. So these are the fans that I can control during active periods, these are on, and during resting periods, these are off. Little did I know, there is still another bad boy acting in the background. You have to turn around. It's gonna be fine. Do, do not move. Okay, go in sideways. The built-in heater slash fan. It's basically like this guy is taking a revenge on me. Because initially, I've said that he was too weak to perform a real drying pasta ventilation. The one we need to dry pasta. It's static. Nothing's moving here. But, he still is strong enough to mess up with the resting period. You see, that's the problem. During the resting period, my fans are off, but the machine is still on, so this little bad boy is still ventilating. And as Andrea Cavalieri put it, during resting times, everything must be off. Everything. Now, obviously, I've tried to insert, you know, a controller between this machine and the socket in the wall, something that I've been doing with an electric kettle in the past or other dumb appliances, but this is no dumb appliance, okay? Sometimes I really feel like this has a, a will or a spirit on its own because it's like fighting back. I like you. So it has built-in electronics that just don't allow me to do exactly what I want unless I'm willing to void the warranty. Now, mark my words, I have no intention whatsoever to... Yes, that's super clean. Do not try this at home. I know I may look like a fool sometimes, but I am an electrical engineer, okay? Good, 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 good. Now it's running. Click. I'm not gonna turn the fan off. I just need to put it back together. I believe everything is now ready for me to perform a test. I'm not gonna make pasta just for this test because making this much pasta would require a few hours. I'm gonna place some dummy pasta in the shape of a wet paper towel. It's gonna be one. Now, the first step is to start the machine. 
power. You see? The world is a beautiful place. The, the socket is not in the wall. I swear I didn't do... I swear I didn't do this in... Oh, I swear I powered the machine. Okay, I need to start the monitoring. When it goes blue, it means we've got Wi-Fi. So we've got Wi-Fi. Goes green, we are collecting data. That's good. I didn't make like a, a real pasta cycle because it would take six hours basically. So I made a dummy cycle. Periods of active drying and ventilation states for one minute, followed by resting period for one minute. And then it goes back into active and then resting. There is a, a, a 10 second warm up. Right, let's talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. I am really excited to tell you about my brand new Skillshare cooking class. I launched it last month. My first ever class with Skillshare, Cooking Like a Chef, Five Fundamental Skills for Kitchen Success. My class will give you the tools you need to impress your friends and family in the kitchen. You'll learn about selecting ingredients, upgrading your knife skills, understanding heat, and so, so much more, like making the perfect omelette or cooking the perfect steak. In addition to my new class, which you can only find on Skillshare, when you sign up for Skillshare, you will get access to thousands of classes covering other creative topics like illustration, drawing, design, photography, and many, many more. All the content is ad-free and Skillshare is constantly launching new premium classes so you can follow wherever your creativity takes you. Go check out the link in my description and the first thousand people to use this link will get a month free trial of Skillshare, including access to my new cooking class. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and allowing me to create such a wonderful cooking class. I know I'm a little biased, but ciao. It's almost magic. I call myself Alex Blaine. And we are on. Ah, one minute. The machine is paused, my fans are off, the built-in ventilation of the machine is off. Now it's starting again. Oh, I think it's cracking like an old ship. Ah, okay, the machine should pause any second now. Well, okay, and that is problem number one sorted. Problem number two, now off camera, Andrea Cavalieri mentioned something about the metal trays that I use for drying pasta. They literally suck. This is what they look like initially. See, there's nothing much to it, except they are made out of metal. And as you know, metal is heat conductive. So it means that it's gonna draw heat out of whichever place it is touching the pasta. So the pasta is gonna dry at a different rate. It's gonna create an unevenness throughout the shape and potentially a breakage, a crack. So to counter that, I've been lining my drying trays with a nylon net. And hopefully this is gonna create a little layer of insulation. I hope so, because it's really painful and tedious what I'm doing at the moment. Just suing like a Okay, next. And that is problem number two sorted. Now for the final one, the last problem. It has something to do with the amount of pasta you dry at the same time. Basically, Andrea Cavalieri told me. The humidity dropped the first like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was too much. The humidity inside my dryer should be high and not yeah. low. So that's why my suggestion, it's very simple to put more pasta. More pasta. More yes. pasta. I know, right? It sounds like a very easy thing to fix. I just need to make more pasta, basically. Well, as for one, I'm exhausted, okay? I'm just fed up with being at, at the exit of my little pasta extruder with my little knife damaging the dye, as you guys have seen in the comments. And also that's not how they do it in pasta factories. They have, you know, rotating pasta cutter. Just gonna buy one. That's how easy this fix is gonna be.
Ouais This is exactly what I want. With me sitting on the side with a glass of wine. Wow! And you're giving me a hard time because I'm, I'm like lightly bruising the face of my pasta dye. Look at this! This is damage! This guy is using a Japanese knife. Let's go. Yeah. Wow! That's the one I want. Oh la la, look at this slow motion now. Anyway, we get the point, Alex. You want to be lazy? Yes, I do. This is my machine, and I want a pasta cutter. I need a pasta cutter. Ah, oh, no, they don't make the, the pasta cutter for my machine. They make it for, like, the, the one that is just slightly above the model that I own. Why does life have to be that complicated? I feel like I'm going to have to make one. Well, I can make one. I think so. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with this? It's just like a, a few uh, uh, that interacts with a... Uh, and it's all like connected with a... Uh, so, we'll catch up in the next one. Bye. Salut.